Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Daniel, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here in the PIC Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a partial examination question on the topic of plants, fungi, and bacteria. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Let us now take a look at this question over here. The pictures below show the bread mold and grass. And they're asking you, how are the bread mold and grass similar? Now, before I begin to look at the four statements over here, let us first ask ourselves and recap. What group of organism do you think the bread mold and grass belongs to? The bread mold belongs to the group of organism known as fungi. Now, what about the grass? The grass belongs to the group of organism known as plants. With that in mind, we are now ready to look at the four statements below. Statement A. Is it true that both the bread mold and grass are able to grow? Now, recall, what kind of things can grow? Living things or non-living things? Living things, right? And are the bread mold and grass considered as living things? They are. Hence, I will write this down that both the bread mold and grass are a type of living things. Thus, is statement A correct? Statement A is correct. Hence, I'll put a tick over here. Moving on, statement B, they reproduce by spores. Is this true that both the bread mold and grass are able to reproduce by spores? Let us take a look one by one. Firstly, earlier we have already said that the bread mold belongs to the group of organisms known as fungi. Now, how do fungi reproduce? Fungi reproduce by spores. What about the grass? Earlier, we have already determined that the grass belongs to the group of organisms known as plants. But remember, we have already learned two types of plants, flowering plant and non-flowering plant. Do you think the grass is a type of flowering plant or non-flowering plant? Now, a lot of students would think that grass is a type of non-flowering plant because when you walk past the road or go to a garden, you do not really see any flowers on the patch of grass, right? But... Do you know that grass is a type of flowering plant? The flowers of grass are very small. And not only that, they are quite dull colored. Hence, it's not easily seen. But grass is a type of flowering plant. So, I'm going to write this down over here. With that in mind, how do flowering plants reproduce? Flowering plants reproduce by seeds. So, is this statement correct that both the bread mold and grass reproduce by spores? This is not correct. Only the bread mold reproduce by spores. Hence, I will cancel the word they and write down only bread mold. Next, statement C. They can make their own food. Now, recall, what kind of organism can make its own food? Plants, right? Plants use its leaf to trap sunlight to make food. And what's the process when plants make food? The process is known as photosynthesis. And now, between the bread mold and grass, which of them is considered as plant? The grass. Hence, only the grass can make its own food, not the bread mold. Therefore, this statement is not correct. I'm going to cancel the word they and write down only plants. But, as a form of revision, how does bread mold obtain its food? Remember, bread mold is a type of fungi. And fungi get its food by feeding on the things it grows on. In this case, you can see that the bread mold is growing on a slice of bread. And this slice of bread acts as the source of food for the bread mold. Hence, the bread mold will feed on this slice of bread by breaking them down into simpler substances and absorbing them. Last but not least, statement D. They need air, food and water to survive. Now, what kind of things need air, food and water to survive? Living things, right? And have we already determined earlier that both the bread mold and grass are considered as living things? We already did. Is this statement correct? This statement is indeed correct. Hence, I'll put a tick over here. Now, since we analyzed all four statements, let's go back to the original question. How are the bread mold and grass similar? Am I looking for the ticks or am I looking for the crosses? I'm looking for the ticks and it will be statement A and D. Hence, the correct option is option number two.
Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!